If you're a WP Forms user, you've probably wondered something we get asked a lot. What exactly happens after a user fills out a form? Where does the data go? Luckily, the answer is pretty simple. I'm Daisy with WP Forms, and today we're going to be talking about exactly that. Where does WP Forms data go after a user fills out and submits a form on your site? Before we get started, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all of our latest tips and tricks. Now let's get into it. So where WP Forms data goes actually depends on the version that you're using. In case you didn't know, WP Forms actually has a free version of the plugin called WP Forms Lite. If you're using the free version, form data is sent via email as a notification as soon as a form is submitted. This email will be sent to whatever email address is in the send to field in your form's notification settings. But if this is still set to the admin email smart tag, then the email notification will go to your WordPress site's administrator email. But if you're using the paid version of WP Forms, then your form data will be stored in your WordPress database. But let's talk about the obvious question. What happens if you're using the free version and your email notifications are not working? Number one, the email notifications might be in your spam folder, so you want to make sure that you check there first. If this turns out to be the case, you're going to want to use an SMTP plugin to authenticate your site's emails so that they don't automatically get marked as spam. I recommend using WP Mail SMTP in combination with your favorite mailer to not only fix this particular problem, but to also help with your website's email deliverability in general. So be sure to check out WPMailSMTP.com for more information. You can also find a link to all of our step-by-step -step video tutorials that show you how to set it up with your favorite mailer in the video description below. Number two, even though WP Forms Lite doesn't store form entries locally, you can still back up new entries using a feature called Lite Connect. When enabled, Lite Connect will capture and encrypt your new entries and store them in the cloud. This is to make sure that your form data isn't lost even if your notifications don't work. You can find this setting by logging into your website, going to WP Forms, Settings, and find the toggle called Enable Entry Backups. After this is turned on, if you ever decide to upgrade to a paid version of WP Forms, any entries submitted while using WP Forms Lite will automatically be restored. You'll then be able to export your form data as a CSV file if you want a hard copy, or you can use the Google Sheets integration to automatically send your form entries over to Google Sheets. So in summary, if you're using WP Forms Lite, the free version, your form entries will be sent as email notifications as soon as a form is submitted, or if you're using Lite Connect, they'll be stored and encrypted in the cloud and will be restored as soon as you upgrade to a paid license. If you're already a paid WP Forms user, then your form entries will be stored in your site's WordPress database. They'll be stored here indefinitely, assuming that your database has enough storage. Let us know in the comments if you found this information helpful, or let us know what other questions or topics you'd like for us to cover. I'm Daisy with WP Forms. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.